and welcome to Massillon Presents The Show with me, Denise Van Elton. It's Easter and summer is just around the corner, so it's time to make sure you, your wardrobe and your home are ready for this season's special events. Coming up, whether you need an outfit for a friend's wedding, a summer garden party or a day at the races, Britain's Got Talent judge Alicia Dixon shares her secrets on how to get the perfect look. Plus, suits you, sir. George Lamb is here with a guide for men and how to find a great fitting suit. Looking good, George. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Lovely to see you both. Nice oh, to see you, Georgie. It's lovely to see you. All that and make sure your home's ready to impress friends and family this summer with our guide to bring in the outside inside. We'd love to hear your style or interiors questions, so get in touch by tweeting us at Matalan. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and stay up to date with this season's key trends. Right, let's kick off the show in style and get fashion ready for the perfect summer event. It's the start of the summer season, so it's time to get ready for those special events in the diary. Whatever you're looking forward to this summer, who better to ask how to look the part than Alicia Dixon? Lovely Alicia. You know what? You never get it wrong in my eyes. Oh, thank you. No, you don't, because I follow you on social media. <laughs> yeah. Bit of a stalker. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I do. And I love every outfit, and every outfit to me is a winner. Every outfit I go, tick, you've just got it just right. Oh, thank you. I think like the older I get, the more I'm getting it right, but believe me, every now and then I get it wrong. When Especially though? in the Mystique you, days, Denise. The band days. Well, that was years ago. Go on, tell me an outfit that you really regret. I remember wearing this long denim skirt and it had a wolf painted on the front of it. <laughs> and it was just wrong on all levels. But at the time I thought, yeah, this is really different. This is edgy. Nah. But it you can't really get wrong. rid of it. It's well, once it's out there on the <laughs> world know. wide web. That's, that's the problem. It. But I think, you know, the older you get, you learn what works and what doesn't work for you. So hopefully you don't make major mistakes like you did in your early 20s, you know. <laughs> so how would you describe your current style? I think my current style is very street chic. Quite Ooh, casual. I like that. Street chic. Yeah, quite casual, laid back, um, edgy. I like to experiment. I like to take risks. I'd rather wear something that makes a statement than trying to please everyone all the time. I think you've just got to wear what feels right for you. And I think I'm quite lucky that through music, through TV work that I do, I get to experiment and wear some fantastic designs. And I love it. Fashion is there to have fun with, and I try and to. And colour as well. And colour. You, you're always in colour for oh, my outfits. Love colour. So, for instance, you know, with the summer, and I love it when the sun comes out, I'm the first person to go to any garden party. <laughs> right. So if you're going to a garden party, yeah. what would you wear? Would you wear something like this? I would wear something like this. I love white. White jeans, they only come out when the sun comes out because you spend the whole year in blue and black. And so I think white is really fresh. And I love the fact that an outfit like this with heels and a tee you can wear it during the day and then in the evening, throw on a blazer and you're ready to go. And I feel super, super comfortable, but I still feel sophisticated. And you look stylish still. Yeah, exactly. See, for me, I'm a bit more girly. So if mm. I'm going to summer garden party, you know what I like. I like flowers. I do yeah. love a pop of colour. And I would choose an outfit like this. This caught my eye in store. And I think this is really elegant, sophisticated and pretty. That colour is beautiful, actually. It's nice, isn't it? And I love yeah. the cerise trousers. Really See, again, nice. that screams summer to me because yeah. it's a pop of colour. Love it. I think that with a blazer would look lovely as well. Yeah. yeah. Although, you know, saying that, I also like quite simple. Although, actually, there's a bit of a theme going on here because I do love frills. <laughs> I've it's got, very on trend at the it minute. It is on trend. Yeah. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got this denim dress, which is a really light denim, so it's not going to get too hot during the hot summer days, uh, which I really like. I like the one shoulder detail. Yes. And in particular, I like these wedges. Now, I will spend the whole summer wearing a wedge shoe. Um, I will wear wedges like this, a tan wedge, because it goes pretty much with everything. Yes. And I could wear these wedges with a white jean. Yeah, you could. They're very, yeah. You it works with everything. Lots of different things. So this summer, I've got a couple of big events to attend. I've got two weddings to go to. Have you got any weddings this summer? I've got no weddings this summer. Can I come to yours? <laughs> no, no love in your life. <laughs> we need to sort that out. Most of my friends are all married. Do you know what? It'd be great if you could come and gate crash these weddings. Can you imagine just turning up? You could come and MC. It'd yeah. be brilliant. <laughs> no, I'm so excited. One of my close friends is getting married. So I've been looking for the perfect yeah. dress. And I think I found it because yellow is big my, this season. One of my favourite colours. It's a great colour yeah. and Grace is wearing it well as you can see. This is a lovely dress. I particularly like this dress because I also like to get my legs out in the summertime as well. Yeah, me too. I think the legs need an airing. So Grace looks fantastic. It has got a kind of a 60s feel shift dress to it. It's a heavy detailed lace which I really like although the dress isn't heavy. It looks like that in detail. Nice clipped in at the waist. Gives you a great waistline which for me is perfect because I'm actually quite straight. Right. So the, that detail there. Yeah, giving away all my insecurities. 
Uh, it's very, very flattering, straight. isn't it? She's like an ironing board. <laughs> um, and I've got uh, the nice detail on the neck here, which I think is really lovely and very flattering it's and classy. elegant. It is classy. And Do you think this would make me look classy? You would. And I think the fact that your <laughs> pins are out is enough. And the colour is just gorgeous. You would stand out. I it's think it's perfect for a wedding. There you go. I'm definitely going to wear that to my friend's wedding. Thank you, Grace. Please don't copy me any of the other guests because <laughs> that would be a massive fashion faux pas. All turn up in yellow. <laughs> in the same dress. <laughs> just to really annoy me. So, my daughter Betsy used to be an a tomboy, but now she's gone very girly, which I'm really excited about. Mm. She just turned seven. Finally, I'm getting her into dresses. Nice. So, I like this dress that you can see the white one with the collar detail. So it's plain on the top with the floral design on the bottom. This is what I would choose for Betsy if I was taking to a, her to a summer event. What about Azura, your little girl? Azura is quite tomboyish, but she does really suit play suits. So I would definitely go for the one on the left. I think it's gorgeous. It's really cute. She could still be boisterous and run around in that one and you wouldn't have to worry so much about her, you know, like getting dirty or anything. Yeah. I, I think it's beautiful. It's quite simple. And you will really find, simple. I'm sure as she gets older, she'll mm. get a bit more girly. because Betsy. She loves like her princess dresses. Yes. But her sort of day-to-day -day style is a bit like mine. <laughs> <laughs> Takes after her mother. Yes. Well, you always. both look fabulous. Alicia, it's always lovely to catch up with you. And you're not you. going anywhere, are you? You're staying no, here for a I'm bit? Here, yeah. Fabulous. Now, if you're a man looking for a great outfit for a special occasion, or you have a man who needs to smarten up his act, look no further. It's time to talk suits. If you're a man going to a wedding, the races, or a summer garden party, it's easy to decide what to wear, isn't it? A great fitting suit, of course. But is there one style of suit that suits all? Let's find out. He's a man who knows it's George Lamb. George. Yes, Denise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, you know. You rock a good suit. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm, I, uh, I like suits. I've worn suits a lot over the last kind of decade or so. Weirdly, didn't have a job where you needed a suit, so I decided to start wearing one. And what's so great about a suit? Why um, do men wear suits? Instantly, they make you feel really sharp. And you put your suit on, and it's like a coat of armour for me, basically. And then I feel, I'm like, right, I'm ready for anything, whatever you throw at me today. Now, you know a lot about suits. Mm -hmm. What are the do's and don'ts, a couple of things that we should uh, adhere to? Uh, the main thing for me is about fit, really, and, uh, and making sure you feel comfortable in it. And, of course, you, you've got to get the right colour for you. You know, if, you, if you're kind of uh, very light-skinned, don't go and get a grey suit because it's going to wash you out, you know, and just kind of think about the clothes that you normally wear and kind of stick to that colour strategy as well. But uh, the main thing really is, is, is the fit. You can spend all the money you like on, on fabric, and if the fit's bad then it's not going to work out And get a you. second opinion, because I go shopping with my dad and my brother and we're going to store sometimes. Now, if they went on their own, yeah. I could quite happily say this, they don't mind me saying, they would just go in, they'd pick something, go, that'll do. But if I'm there, my mum's there, we can actually say to them, do you know what, that doesn't look right, it it's doesn't fit, it's too short in the leg, too yeah. short in the arm, you know, and to give some advice. So be open to advice, I guess. Always. That's a good rule for life, Denise. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you're looking fantastic Thank in this suit. Uh, let's talk us through it. This is a three-piece tailored suit. Is uh, the three-piece suit popular? It's very popular. It's classic, but it's also like, you know, it's had, a, it's had a big renaissance the last three or four years. It was kind of maybe like, when I first started wearing three-piece suits, people thought it was a bit old-fashioned, but now everybody kind of, you know, everybody's just doing it. Just agrees you're old-fashioned. Yeah, just agrees. <laughs> um, uh, it, this is 100% Italian merino wool. Ah, oh, so now you're saying wool, but actually to touch, this feels very light. Cool. Well, it's a, it's a light weave, basically. Okay. So you, you can wear this in the summer, you're no problem. You're educating me. Yeah, it's a light weave. You could get a really heavy-duty wool suit but then not practical for some not very practical <laughs> um and the, you know with this you can you could probably i, I wouldn't totally go down to like t-shirt and 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 you know uh sneakers but i would i would wear this uh, with a crew neck jumper underneath so it can be slightly more relaxed or maybe a, a you know a button down shirt with a tie underneath you know kind of pep guardiola style but you do see guys in suits with t-shirts and, and sneakers on is that a is it because of the cut of this suit that you can't do it with this particular Yeah, one? I would just say this is just a slightly more kind of formal... There, there's a suit coming up in a minute which I think would work better with, with, with T-shirts. Right, stuff. I'll look forward to seeing it. So we've got lovely Jason here. Now, this is one of our suits that we love. Jason, looking uh, very sharp. Talk us through this one, because this colour, how would you describe this colour? I would... Uh, navy slate, so it's halfway between kind of grey and navy. It's, it's, uh, it's a really fresh look. It works really well with the brown shoes. And what cut is this? This is the... This is the regular fit so this is this is and it's also got a bit of giving it as well it's got some stretch jason if you could just lunge for us sir <laughs> give us a uh, lunge which is ideal lovely jason so did you know great. what i've just had an idea this is the perfect suit to wear at a wedding reception or to a party where you're gonna have a dance floor yeah you can lunge exactly show right. us your lunge yeah 
Isn't that the perfect lunch in yeah. the perfect suit? Yeah. And I do like the brown shoes. I like the mix of colour there. So I think the bluey grey and the brown works That's really, really well. Keeps it it's very really good. If you went, if that was too dark and then you and then you kicked him in the brown shoes, it wouldn't work. Okay, so it's all about choosing the right colours. Jason, I love this suit. It's fantastic. Looks good on you. Next oh, also up, he's got a very nice pin oh. tie detail on there. Sorry, I almost let him go without uh, showing that, which is uh, it's a beautiful thing. So this is a neck tie pin. Yes. Very popular now. Yeah. And, is it and a bit just, fiddly to do up? It's a little bit fiddly, but you don't need to take it on and off all day. You just need to do it once at the beginning and once at the end. So you'll need assistance. I'm Perhaps. there for you if you need me, Jason. Uh, thank you, Jason. <laughs> right, next we have Carlo. Now, I really like this suit. I love the colour of this. And what fit is this? This is the slim suit. This is the one I was talking about that would work if you wanted to dress it down. This is perhaps the most versatile of the three. So uh, you could wear this with sneakers and a T-shirt easily, or you can dress it right up to where Carlo is now, where you could happily go to a prom or you could go to a job interview. Um, uh, I don't know if it's got any stretch. So I'm not sure if you can do any lunging, which I know will be a disappointment Probably not you, ideal Carlo. in a job interview. No, no. So maybe it's a good thing after all. Yeah. Um, thank you, Carlo. Thank you, Carlo. Looking very good, looking very sharp. So that's our big fellas what about a little chap ah uh, yes we've got i don't know what you're talking about for a minute i know Denise. i know it does sound a little bit rude no um, the, for small children i love seeing kids isn't that a beautiful suits. thing so nice it's one of the cutest small people's suits i've i've ever seen this and one did and you I, wear suits when you were a kid i did a little bit my dad bought me one uh, to go to my auntie's wedding when i was about seven and is that when you fell in love my with uncle. suits yeah, I suppose it was actually. I looked, I looked a bit like a snooker player, um, <laughs> but there, things have moved on. Thankfully, it was a long time ago. Um, this is—I've never seen a, a little person's three-piece suit before. And, uh, With that pipe in detail, and which is really nice. It's really—it's uh, a lovely thing, and I would love also, like, if I had my little boy, I was in this one. He could be in this one, and we'd look. I don't have a little boy, but if I had one. I would I'd dress He would be that. dressing like this, a no. little lamb, a little lamb. Um, and I like the pink shirt. See, boys should wear pink. Oh, I've always worn pink. Lovely, love that. George, I've loved talking suits with you. Thank you so much. You're not going anywhere. I should never. I need you here. Yeah. I need you in my I'm life. By your side, Denise. <laughs> Don't ever leave me. Now, as well as making sure your wardrobe is ready for summer special occasions, it's also the time of year to make sure your home's ready to make the right impression on summer house guests. It's time for Make Your House a Home. The days are getting longer and the temperature's slowly rising, which means those long summer days are not far away. Yes! So it's the perfect time to clear away the cobwebs and make sure your home is ready to greet summer house guests. Mine today are Ideal Homes' Jane Akers. Welcome back. Hello, thank you for having me. Oh, it's good to see you again. George Lamb. Hello, my angel. Looking good in your suit. Thank you. And Alicia Dixon. Good day, Den. Oh, it's all gone Australian. <laughs> Why? Because we're talking summer, we're, we're talking barbecue. Oh, very good. Oh, but how do we bring summer inside the home? Well, summer is all about making the garden an extension to your home. And to make a connection between those rooms, it's about blurring the boundaries. And a great way of doing that is by bringing plants inside. You can use fresh plants from the garden, cut, pl cut flowers in vases, or you can use faux plants. See, I love a faux plant. Yeah, me too. Because I think, because I'm always running around busy and I forget to water plants, so I've got a lot of faux plants. Are you a fan of the faux? I haven't got any, but I like them. It's great so if you're I might a mum. How one. much do you like them? Oh, <laughs> no. How many? no, but yeah. I'm moving house soon, so I'm thinking you're I might get some. Faux yeah, I think right, I might okay. do that. And are you big on entertaining in the summer? Do you like to have lots of people oh, you over? Can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Glastonbury, basically. Yeah. With loads of plants. <laughs> yeah, full, just faux plants everywhere. It's amazing. <laughs> but do you like to entertain? I yes. can imagine you do. Oh yeah, always music, always food, people around the house. Yeah. Brilliant. And do you have a theme for summer this year? Yes. Well, coastal is a big theme. It's a real classic. And of course, not everybody's got a coastal theme in their houses. So if you want to inject a little bit of a coastal theme to sort of uplift your interiors, a great way of doing it is with a few key Matalan accessories that I've done here on the shelf. So we've got this lovely LED lantern, which has got a distressed painted finish, which is key to the coastal theme. And another thing I've got are these lovely candles. They're the nautical blues. Mm -hmm. It's a great way of injecting a bit of colour over the summer. And they're really and fresh colours as well, aren't they? Exactly, and it's it's cheap as well, so it's an easy thing to do. And then I've got this great sign on the wall. Now, memes are massive. So There's is that loads. called a meme? It's called a meme. It's got a lovely it saying on it. used to be called a it. sign. <laughs> now it's called <laughs> a meme. Now it's a meme. We've got a name for it. It's a sign with yeah. a meme Haven't on it. We've rebranded signs. <laughs> Haven't you got a meme? I don't have one yet. That'll be it. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't no got one. Memes no memes thus far. Me. <laughs> yeah. But, but 
what about it? Alicia's? What would yours be? I don't know. I mean, I have positive like messages on my walls, but That's I feel exactly like I need to. Yeah, but I need to get a proper meme. Yeah, it's just well, I like that. A great way of bringing a fun, uplifting touch into your home over summer. So <laughs> scents as well, because I like my house to smell nice and yeah. fresh. Yeah. So home... Do you like? Do you like scents? Love. I love diffusers <laughs> and candles. I have yeah. them everywhere. Oh, you want to make everywhere. your home smell really nice. They, that I have. And Otherwise, me, I don't. A George's candle, house do. stinks. It doesn't have anything. Man. Yeah. It just smells of that's, that's yeah. why you need one. Right, right. you need, need this in your life. A lovely can scented. I smell this? Yes, you can smell this. Do you it's not have a, candles in your I'm house? I've got candles. Good. Just, yeah. Do you like them? There's no fun if we all sit here and just go, oh, I like candles. Do you actually like your too. candles? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, Unless well, they're very expensive, then I only do that as a treat. Okay. Yeah. As a present, as a yeah. gift. A special, special. Well, you oh, could wow. have one of these That's every day lovely. in your home. So it's got Ideal. a really lovely yeah. summery yeah. fragrance. Don't leave me out. Sorry. I'm nice. To you. Oh, I love that. And it's also really a diffuser. Nice. I'm really big on diffusers. Yeah. So you can change the scent <laughs> of your <laughs> home. <laughs> it's, that's I didn't know I was going to hear that today. <laughs> big what on are you really big on today? It's diffusers, actually, George. Yeah. And cushions. It's the hippie in me. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Hippies love diffusers. Yeah. Famously. Yeah. So... So concentrate, guys. Right, sorry, sorry Joe. This We're is like a really, kids. this is a really lovely way of bringing a nice summery scent into your home. Right, it makes sense. It makes. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so we've got that um, inside and outside, haven't yes. we? So we can run it through into the garden. So yes. what can we put can, in the garden? You can totally bring the coastal theme outside as well. And Matalan have got some great products this year. Honestly, I've been really impressed with what they've got for outside. Some great floor cushions in blues, the nautical colours, and also the geo stripes. Seat pads as well, some lovely glazed dipped dining plates, which are great for the dining table, and a lovely traditional hamper, a picnic basket, like a wicker finish with the nautical stripes love as well. It. We're, we're all I'd looking forward that. to going around to George's now. Oh, yeah. me for too. Yeah. Yeah. Right in saying you change your pillows, your cushions in the in the summer. I do, I do. I've read that about you. I've got winter cushions and then I change them for spring, summer, and it yeah. completely changes the house. It's a really, it really good tip. It is cool. such a good tip. You change your dark colours to your light colours. Yeah. It's so easy to do and you've got a whole new look. I like that. You should all come around check out my cushions. Yes. It's been lovely having you. Thank you. Lovely to see you again, Jane. Thanks so much. George, Thank always you, a Denise. pleasure. Indeed. Lovely, Alicia. Lovely to see you. You've been fantastic. That's it for now. Thanks to all my guests for sharing their stories and expert help and advice. Join me again soon when start of The Only Way is Essex and my dear friend Lydia Bright will be here to talk festival chic and travel glamour. We'll see you soon. See you too.